Hello and welcome to my first Let's Build. I'm going to be doing a series about building projects that we've been doing and recently we've been doing a pirate boat battle which we're going to be doing a survival map on as you can see here. Well, when the aim of the game is to blow up each other's ship and basically it's going to be teams of two and it's going to be last two alive basically. We've added cannons that um, we're going to be firing across as you've seen there which will be used as targets basically we're gonna have several game modes just like this this is showing the cannon working it's going past these are all made with um... I'll sh put the tutorial in the description but I'm not gonna take any credit because I did adapt some ideas from this this is just showing you what the tutorial is so it's gonna be it's a boat map which is gonna be showing the aisles As you can see, we just we just done a video to show you what this is all about. So you can know, know before you watch the video if you do want to know how to make something like this. Not exactly like it, but something around the same. As you can see, with me and myself, no, myself and Liam have both made a ship each around the same size, so it's not too unfair. Then we've decided that we're going to have two teams and we're going to have rounds linking off from our Civil Conquest map which we're in the making of making and this will then link off and it's a storyline this storyline is going to then link on to this ship which we've shown here For the ship that I will be making in this let's build, it is slightly different to this one, but from that it will show you, you can adapt some ideas, edit it, whatever you want, because you might not want to do exactly what I'm doing. But this just shows, by the way, this there isn't actually that much TNT in the real thing, but we just wanted to show you that the TNT cannons can help a lot, as you can tell. And we found a mushroom, mushrooms. So we just thought we'd show that, because we thought that was pretty cool, as we haven't found these before. And if you want to know the seed for it, just uh, send us a message and we'll send you the seed showing where this is. Because I don't know if it's been the same for everyone else, but we've been struggling to find one of these. If you're wondering why they just turn into a normal cow, if you shear one, it comes into a normal one. And we didn't like that cow after that, because... It was just disgraceful that it wasn't a mushroom anymore. Yeah. And apparently with this, the ground, mycelium, if you put a mushroom and just put bone meal on it, that's how it turns into this massive mushroom. So here I am starting the base of the boat. We sped it up so it's not as boring. But i done six out on each. So this will just be the, like, the base of the boat. So this is, it's not really that small. It's just a bit before it starts curving in like and getting smaller. So I just thought I'd like make it so I could tell how far it's gonna go. And later on you'll see that I do extend it out by about maybe ten maybe. I'm not sure. But if you start off with just a shape like this, so you know roughly how big it is, and then go up around three off the edge, not on the actual block but an extra block to the left so you don't make it too small this will enable you to like have the curve on the bottom but after this you'll go about six extra up because it might look tall once I've done it but in the end and the outcome it does not look as big as this so as you can see I've been I've done it on every single one and then I'll start doing the adding it on to the edge because the front of the boat it, it's quite tricky if you don't know what you're doing but you basically have to gradually bring it in it's quite easy once you know as you can see I've cocked up quite a bit there 
And I'll just put some torches around so you can see what I'm doing. Because otherwise you'll get... You won't know how many blocks. And I will be doing more of these videos. Because I enjoy doing it. It's fun making stuff like this. Now you can see I'm starting on the fourth one. This is where I'll be extending up by three. So this is the base for the walls on the second floor. Now you can, like, you don't have to make it out of wood. You can, well, I haven't experimented really, but I've only tried it with wood. But using iron blocks maybe might work as like a battleship or something. I'm not sure. So if you do make something like that, just Send me a picture or something so I can see what it looks like because I'm just wondering. Now, for my opinion, I like starting lighter and getting darker as it goes up. So as you can see, I'm putting two blocks of normal wood here. Then I'm putting two of the birch wood. Now eventually, I'll link all of you up to make a wall. But what I'm doing is I'm putting two layers of birch. And then I'm going to put two layers of the darker wood on top. So I can have a bit of difference in wood. Now, if you do want to add cannons, make sure you do know that between each block, there's a, you need a five block hole that, well, a three block hole with the blocks on the side. So that will make it, so you can like decorate it or whatever, like by broaden it out with extra wood or something. As you can see, we're just I'm just adding on the last pieces. Now it might look quite small now, but that's because I haven't added on. This is just the curving. Now this is where I'll just be filling in the wood. So this will be the f the base, the floor, the bottom of the boat. So I thought I'd just go fast on this piece because you might get quite bored of this. Now, if I were you, I'd suggest putting wooden slabs down the middle, which I've just done. Because then you know exactly where the midpoint is. Because if not, then you'll have... Because if you want to have something symmetrical, you always f struggle finding the middle point sometimes, especially in a boat like this. So it's best if you do that, as it does gradually go in. Because you need to follow the the blocks that are in line of the sea, not the ones above. Because I, that's what you'll be doing after with the walls. Now, if you want to um, make this boat, if you could, could you please give me some credit? Because I didn't use any videos, well, apart from the um, TNT cannons. As we try, we experiment with different ones, but none of them really satisfied us. Now, as you can see, we're going along with the walls now. So, just follow the base you've been doing. And once we get to the front, I'll tell you what to do then, because you need to start on the biggest layer first, so it goes in rather than out. Because otherwise, it'll just it just won't look as good. Because that's what I experimented with, and I found out that doesn't look as good. As I dash around putting blocks around, I'll just mention that me and Liam and Nick, we all are going to be making more videos more frequently now. Like, we've started a hardcore mode where that didn't end too well. If you want to check that out, it's in our videos. And we're going to be doing, if anyone's interested, we're going to be doing a survival games on Xbox console. So, if you want to join in with that, just send us a message. This is where I was on about you need to go in rather than out. Because, as you can see, it's like the walls are getting closer. But this is where the front of the boat will be. So, this is why you need to do it. Because I find this has a much better effect. Now you'll see what I mean by the different coloured woods going up, because this will make have a little bit of contrast in the boat, because you don't want something looking exactly the same, because otherwise it won't have any contrast, and also it makes it a lot easier if you're doing cannons, because you can easily know where the middle is or whatever. 
And as you can see, if you look to the left on the one that I move over a bit, you'll see that I've, I've left a free block there. On this one, I've left a five block, which gives me enough room to have sides to it, so it doesn't look like it doesn't look stupid. Because either you have a cannon and it's got like a hole in the side, it looks. So if you don't want that, then I'd suggest marking out so you've got five. Now here on the corners, what you want to do is you want to have it so it gradually goes up, but doesn't it like goes on the corners, so it doesn't sit solidly on a block. It like floats off the side. Because as you can see, these are literally only the corners are touching each other. If you just follow that, then it will eventually look like it. That's the tip, I'd say. And also, make it so it goes steep up, but then it gradually goes up as well. Because the point at the front, that looks a lot better when it's just really steep and goes out quite far. If you follow that tip, then you shouldn't come into any problems. Just make sure... They don't put a block on top of a block, and you stay in line with the wall. Now make sure, unlike I did, as you'll see later in the video, make sure you stay with the same colour block, because you want the front to be the exact same as what the walls are. So, once you get over this layer, use the birch wood, unlike I did. Oh wait, yes I did. Uh, just do that, because I was, the contrast won't follow through the whole boat. Oh yeah, it's at the front that I didn't do it. Make sure you do it at the front as well. Unless you want to use a different material, like experiment. Now, at the front, it, w it's, it can... If you want to have as much room as possible, I'd suggest making sure that it goes out quite far. Because then you'll be able to have as much room as possible. Because in my boat, it's quite, it's quite compact and hard to fit through if you have any troubles with that. Because that can restrain space. Now this is where the line of the floor will be. So as you can see, this is the base done of the boat. And you can see it's starting to take place now. So starting with that, just that one block, like that line, that one block line, it gives you the exact symmetrical shape. Now this is where I'll show you that the point looks a lot better if you don't go just straight up in a right angle. Now this is where I'll be filling in the floor. So I'd suggest doing it like this, because then you make sure you won't go over by one block. And then you'd have to start the whole floor again. But if you did want to go like one block over or something, then it's not entirely up to you. But what I do is I fill this in and then I put fences on top of the wooden log blocks. Because this way it like gives contrast in the floor as well as the sides. And also it makes it a lot easier to mark out where the fences will go. Now I felt, once I'd done all this, I felt it wasn't long enough. So I decided that I want to extend by roughly 20 blocks at the most. No, not 20 blocks. Maybe, I'd say around, not too far, because you've got to add an extra bit at the back, which is where the, the cabin is, where the captain sits. Because that seems to poke out of the ship. Like it, It's structured with a strut that holds it, which is basically the back. But it's only like a one block.
Now this is what I meant by the extra add-ons to the sides. So go around, I went around 12 blocks out. As I felt that it wasn't long enough. And for the sails, you need a lot, you need around, I experiment, I thought that around 5 sails looked good. Because the sails, like the ship doesn't look as good without the sails. I've been Aiden, and I was hoping that you could maybe subscribe if you like this, because we'll be we'll be doing a series of this, and we're hoping to upload one every week. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like. Bye.